And breaking news we are following tonight. One person has died after severe weather hit part of our state. Now, the Pawnee County Sheriff's Office told our content partners in Tulsa that the death happened when an RV overturned near Pawnee Lake. We have viewer video of that area. Let's take a look here. It shows several RVs flipped over. So the, the viewer who shot this will pan across the lake and kind of zoom in and you'll see some of those RVs flipped. You also see the massive emergency response around Pawnee Lake. This is isn't the only area where we saw damage and debris. We also got this video and you'll notice it's daytime video damage there on the side of the road. And the viewer who sent this said this damage was from the first wave of storms that they received. So that person claiming that Pawnee got hit twice tonight. The city of Pawnee posting on Facebook tonight saying in part, we need people to stay in their homes as emergency crews are out working and identifying all of the areas hit. We have electric poles down throughout town and have called for emergency assistance in getting the electric back on. There is a significant amount of damage, several road closures and emergency crews throughout town. And Taking a look at the statewide power outage map right now, 3,100 customers are without power at this moment in the north central part of our state. And Pawnee Public Schools posting on Facebook tonight saying all of their homecoming activities have to be canceled due to the weather. You just hate this for that community. Let's bring in our chief meteorologist, Damon Lane, right now. Damon, I mean, another reminder that here in Oklahoma, severe weather is potentially always in season. It certainly is, and so I want to take you back to just how these storms looked even just a little while ago. So the National Weather Service in Tulsa put out a severe thunderstorm warning for Pawnee as the storms came right on in. The storms were warned for golf ball size hail, winds of 70, but look what happens right as the storm went right over Pawnee, you see it flare up all of a sudden, bit of an inflow notch in that as well. And then another batch of storms came in right behind it. And our Oklahoma Mesonet stations, which are located there in Pawnee as well, did record a 72 mile per hour wind gust. So definitely some pretty intense storms ran through uh, that part of the state. So let me show you exactly what we know right here. Head on over to WSI2 because again, the storm was worn for golf ball hail, 70 mile an hour winds. It ramped up right on top of town. And so that is something that certainly the weather service will be going out and assessing uh, when the sun comes up tomorrow. Tornado, microburst, but again, we did see that recorded 72 mile per hour wind right there in town. So this time of the year when we have this type of heat, we can get a lot of instability and we certainly had that. Today.